gearbox loose pretty pretty catastrophic damage to the gearbox we'll see that when we get the gearbox pulled out uh, next week 
so I'm about to head back off to work again. It's now a Monday. I got managed to get home tonight. Uh, yeah, so I've dropped the subframe on the passenger side a little bit. Best of, best way I've found to get the gearbox out on these is to disconnect the basically drop the subframe completely. Um, but I've got one more bolt on the driver's side to get loose. That's proven to be a bit of a pig. Usually you can use a uh, kind of swan neck spanner to get on the top of it. But that's, that's not working, so I've had enough today. I'm fucking filthy. So I'm going to pack up, tidy the garage up, and then I think I'm going to head to bed. Because I've got, a, got an early start in the morning. So yeah, like I say, next week we'll we'll get the box out completely. Hopefully I'm been speaking to a couple of people, I'm going to try and get a new box for next week, or maybe the week after. Um, I've got to service the missus' car next weekend as well, so it's going to be a bit of a busy weekend. Um, the engine, I mean, I've been having a look. There's absolute catastrophic damage to the flywheel and clutch and everything like that. I think that could have been the reason for it not restarting. Obviously, now I've got the gearbox out, I kind of compression tested, which I've made a bit of a bit of a fuck up there but what, I, what I'm basically going to do is take the inlet manifold off and turn the engine over by hand and just obviously check with the, the exhaust manifold off and the inlet manifold off and kind of roughly check the valves make sure that they're obviously moving correctly if I've got compression on all, all four cylinders um, we should be good to go and we should maybe be able it'll get the engine to restart again but we'll have to see I mean if it, if it needs a new engine it needs a new engine I can, I can pick an engine up pretty pretty easily but I'd rather just stick a box in it and then be done with it I'd say this is getting sold as soon as it's available so I mean looking at, at where we are now we've got most of the box out yeah, subframes dropped slightly. Um, plenty of space down there. So the only problem is I've snapped the bloody coolant pipe. So yeah, as I said, I'm fucking filthy, I'm covered in oil, covered in grease. I'm gonna call it a day, head to bed, and I'll I'll see you guys later on.